Hey everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. It's wonderful to have you all here. So I am working on a nine by 12 um, layout to go into my Project Life album on the reverse side of this. So it will butt up against this um, in my page protector. And the video for this is going to come out Friday morning. Um, yeah, so this is, I think, going to be a rather quick video. So I have this 7x7 seven seven watercolor painting that I did at the beginning of April. And I really wanted to get it into the album because I like including my watercolor plus I just thought like this is going to be on the opposite page um, in my album and I just thought look at how it just looks pretty together right um, yeah so that's how I ended up pulling this particular um, painting into this so what I did was I took um, two different 12 by 12 papers this one was already um, torn a little bit I had used some of it already but I tore a little bit more off of it I decided to keep the manufacturer's um, strip gosh I couldn't think of that word on there because look at this just like look at this <laughs> the colors here match the colors on the strip absolutely perfectly <laughs> so i'm like well i'm just gonna keep it and then the underneath paper which is this right here um yeah i'm just gonna adhere that on there so i'm gonna go ahead and do that because i know that that is something that i want to do so i'll go ahead and get this down and i want to have like that under um paper showing just a little bit on each side not too much all right so there we go all right so that's perfect that's exactly what i'm looking for so i know that i want to put this up here now i've been thinking about well do i want to put adhesive on the back of this not really i really don't um because I don't want to ruin the, the paper, the painting, right? So then I was thinking about, well, maybe I'll take some washi and um, put some on the back. Let me see if I can find some washi that I don't use very much. Maybe something like this because it is wide and I kind of like that idea so what I was thinking of doing on the back of it and I don't know if it will work or not and I hope that this washi is good enough to even use if not I'll have to grab a different one let me just kind of get it going here okay so what I was thinking of doing is like in the four corners uh, just kind of doing this like you would if it was you know regular scotch tape and then when i have all four corners done i can turn it over and put it down and it will stay there and knowing that it's in a pocket as well um i feel comfortable that it's not going to move anywhere i mean it's not like anybody's going to be taking it in and out of the pocket right um so i think that this might work so i'm going to give it a try um and then this way could this somehow damage the back yeah like say in you know 20 50 years from now if somebody wanted it take this painting out because it's well worth millions of dollars <laughs> yeah right <laughs> um they they could and you know maybe it would or would not get damaged now what i was thinking of doing was like i was like hemming and hawing well do i use some pretty um wood veneer with this 
And the more I thought about it, I decided not to. Um, what I do want to do is, I think I want to put like this heart down here on top of the doily. And then this like there. So I could go up just a little bit, just a little bit. Um, all right, so let me get the doily down. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Let me just do this one more time so I can have a feel for how much I'm going to cut off. Well, actually, if I just do this, I'll, I'll know. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the top off because I can use that on another layout. Um, or I might even find a way to tuck it into this one. I'm hoping I only have one doily here. No, I have two. Of course I have two. So now I just cut <laughs> two doilies. That's all right. That's all right. Um, all right, so I'm going to get this down. And doilies sometimes are a little um, delicate when putting adhesive. So I just went nice and slow there. All right, so I do want to get an idea for where I want this. So I want the painting maybe an inch from the top and I want it maybe just like that. So before I press it down, I'm going to take this, the heart, and just make sure. Yeah, you know what? That will work. That will work. All right. So now that I have that down, I can put this down. And, you know, again, let me put this here because I want to make sure I have room for that. And, well, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I mean, yeah, it's stuck. It works. It works. Yeah. All right. So then the next thing that I want to do is put this heart here. Um, and thank you, Tracy, for this heart. Um, so I'm going to just get a little bit of adhesive on here. It doesn't need a lot, right? Uh, all right, so now I'm gonna put this down here. Now, as far as journaling about this, so I did take this particular card here from some 12 by 12, uh, pad and I wrote on it except that now that I don't know now that I have this plan I can't use this but what I did decide to do was I'm going to take the same words and actually I think I'll use this pen I think um, and I'm going to write around the doily um, so I will write this out and then I will come back. All righty. The... I finished putting my journaling around the bottom of the doily. It says, this is one of my watercolor paintings. I started to learn to paint six months ago and it has been a fun and rewarding time. I am so hooked <laughs> and I am, I love watercoloring. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna do, I'm not gonna touch anything at the top of this layout. I want the painting to be the focal point, but I did think about maybe adding a couple hearts on the bottom. I thought about maybe adding um, one of the wood veneer. So like I have this, which I think is from, I don't know where it's from. I don't wanna say because I could be wrong. I like that, it says favorite. I don't want to put, well, I mean, I could put beautiful because, well, I think it's beautiful, but I don't know. Adore, um, awesome. I wouldn't put XOXO because to me that is not, I want to say serious enough, if that makes any sense. But you know what? I think I'm going to go with favorite. 
and I'm going to leave it um, this color, the wood color. So let me see if I can do this or do I have to use wet adhesive? You know, I'm, I'm all about the easy, easy, easy scrapbooking, right? Easy, easy. I can't get it on this little piece over here. Let me see if this is enough. And it may not be, but it might be. So, um, all right. Well, it's not going anywhere. So, I like that. Now, I have to decide um, about do I want these white hearts or do I want to include um, some of the um, the badges, the uh, the flare? So let's see. Um, I definitely like the white. Um, I could do something like this. I mean, there's I actually like that very much. Or I can do something more like with bring out the, that teal color um but i don't like that as much and i think the reason being is that i like the solid pink of this because it draws your eye down which is different than that so okay so now i've decided i want to use the flare um i could go with two similar i could go with a deeper pink i could go with just a heart that's pink but i have to tell you um i think i like that the very first ones that i put down yep 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 easy peasy easy peasy okay so now um i have art glitter glue which i love art glitter glue love it love it um but i did just get a new top as well as this metal top with the um with the pin in it i actually got those from may may made it so you need just a little little in fact that was like way 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 too much um i'm gonna actually use my finger to to move some to the other flare. So what I do with this is I wipe it off right away and I put the pin in right away. So that's how I ruined my last one was I did not, well, do that, you know, either um, the, uh, the wiping off or putting the pin in. I think I left it out overnight and yeah, I could never get the pin back in there ever. And yeah, so it was... I've ruined it. I absolutely ruined it. So I'm going to be much more aware this time of what's going on. So that might be the end of it. Um, I did take out a couple washies, but I don't think I need to add washi. I really kind of like it the way it is. Now I could come in and, you know, do the whole you know, make this really look, uh, the camera's probably shaking, um, you know, like uh, distress it a little bit. I could do that. I'm not too much into that, but, you know, I just did a little bit. I could even put a little bit of uh, ink on there so that that line shows up a little bit more. But you know what? I'm happy with it the way it is. This is staying down and it is... It's good. I can go ahead and slip it into the pocket. Um, where is my pocket? All right, so I'm going to actually put this one in here, which I had in here, and then I took it out because I thought I might use the back of this for this, and then I decided it was way too busy. I mean, even if I had put like this solid pink on top of it. It still just wasn't sitting right with me, so I decided not to. There we go, so it is a done deal. I like it the way that it is. I'll just lift it up. Oops, I have to stand up so that you can see it up close. And that's my painting. And then, yep, yeah, the doily, the heart, the wood veneer, the little flare my journaling. I like it.
All right, well, let me know if you have any questions. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and go ahead and leave me a comment. Have a blessed rest of your week. Bye-bye.